Do Dutch trains really ride on wind energy as the National Railway Corporation claims? Some of you may have seen this popular video, which claims that the trains in the Netherlands run on wind energy. Let's examine if this is, at all, possible. First of all, they claim that the power company who is responsible for this has built wind turbines in the Netherlands, Belgium and Finland specifically for Dutch trains to run. That's right, Finland, 1600 kilometers from here. Most of the Dutch passenger trains have been electrified since 1958, when the last steam locomotive was decommissioned. The first electric train already ran in 1908, just five years after the Wright brothers took flight. To run most passenger trains on electricity, the railway corporation needs about 1.2 billion kilowatt hours. That's 1.2 million megawatt hours or 1200 gigawatt hours. Let's check how much energy is produced by Dutch wind turbines according to the CBS, which keeps all the relevant statistics in our country. Wind energy production was roughly 7.5 million megawatt hours. So theoretically, the claim of trains running on wind power is true. There's more wind energy than the trains need. However, why was it necessary for the energy partner to build wind turbines in Belgium and Finland? That's because Dutch wind turbines are owned by many different power companies. So how much wind energy does Eneco produce? If we tally all the wind parks and apply a capacity factor of 35%, they produce roughly 2.5 million megawatt hours. That's again enough. However, roughly 1 million megawatt hour of Eneco's wind energy is produced in the Netherlands. The funny thing is this, if you want to become a client of Ineco, you can choose to buy wind energy which has been generated by Dutch wind turbines exclusively. So what is happening here? Are the trains running on Ineco wind energy or are you as a customer getting Ineco wind energy? So the railway corporation and Ineco are basically fooling people here. First, the energy partner doesn't generate enough to let the trains run on wind exclusively. So this means that they either have to import it from foreign wind farms or buy it from other wind companies. Secondly, they can't sell the same energy to consumers as well when it has been used to run trains. Here's another consideration. Let's take a look at the total fossil fueled electricity production in the Netherlands. This is the website of the Dutch Bureau of Statistics. Over here we see the different energy sources, natural gas, coal, oil, wind and nuclear. Over here we see the electricity column. Over here we see the heat column. These two are separate. The heat column is meant for domestic and industrial heat. Electricity production in 2015 was 110 million megawatt hours. Wind energy was 7.5 million megawatt hours. Suppose that the energy mix is constant all the time. Our trains would run on 6.8% wind power. And since the grid doesn't create special channels for green energy, all the energy is simply thrown onto the grid and each consumer gets his kilowatt hours regardless of the source, whether it is coal, gas, nuclear or wind. That's how it works for trains as well. They don't have a separate grid in which wind energy gets transported to the rails and their overhead electricity network. And we may therefore conclude that this promise of trains running exclusively on wind is a lie. Additionally, wind has a capacity factor of roughly 35% in the Netherlands. It is a small country, and days without sufficient wind are common. 
This means that there are days where trains cannot run because they, after all, run on wind power, right? And since the Netherlands has no energy storage to speak of, we can't store enough wind energy to keep the trains running while the wind is down or insufficiently strong. Therefore, our trains cannot run exclusively on wind all the time. In reality, our trains run on natural gas, coal, nuclear and a little bit of wind. So before you see similar claims being made in the media, they probably aren't true. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe.